It's time to relax, grab a drink, pull up a chair by the hearth, and have a seat in the Skald Circle to listen to the tale of The Wolf and the Tailor from Russia, as told by Kazimir. Before we begin our story, we wanted to remind you that we release new tales for free every week. Our shorter tales release on Wednesdays, and our longer chapter stories release on every other Saturday. Find out where you can hear them on our website at thescaldcircle.com. And be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out on one of our enchanting tales from around the world. And this is the tale of the wolf and the tailor. This story is a story of the past of the days when Christ and the twelve apostles still walked on the earth. One day when they were still on the road, going on a long, long journey, and a wolf met them and said, Lord, I'm feeling very hungry. Go, Christ said to him, and eat a mare. So the wolf went looking for a mare, and he saw her going down and up and said, Mare, the Lord has bidden me to eat you. So she answered, Well, please do not eat me. It is not the proper thing. But I have a passport on me, only it is driven in very hard. Well, show it me. Just come near my hind feet. So the wolf went up, and she kicked him with her hoofs and knocked out his front teeth. So the wolf was thrown at a blow three thousands high, and the mare ran off. Back the wolf came with a petition, and met Christ and said, Lord, the mare almost killed me. Well, go on then and eat a ram. So the wolf ran to the ram and said, Ram, I am going to eat you. It is the command of the Lord. Well, come and eat me if you will. I will stand on the hill and I will jump into your mouth, all right? So the wolf stood on the hill, and the ram told him to open his mouth. So the wolf went and stood on the hill and opened his mouth for the food. And the ram ran down and hit him hard with the horns on his forehead. Whack! And the wolf was knocked off his feet, and the ram went away. And the wolf got up, looked all around, and there was never a sign of the ram. So he went with another complaint. And he found the Lord and said, Lord, even the ram has deceived me. Why, it almost knocked me to bits. All right, said Christ. Go and eat the tailor. So the wolf ran up, and he met the tailor on the way. Tailor, he said, I am going to eat you. It is the command of the Lord. All right, let me say goodbye. I should like to greet my kin. No, I cannot let you say goodbye to your kin. Well, I cannot help it must be so. Come and eat me up. Well, only at least let me take your measurements. I only want to see whether I shall slip in easily. All right, measure away, said the wolf. So the tailor went back, took hold of the wolf by his tail twined his tail round in his hand and began to whip the wolf. And the wolf struggled and tussled and roared and shrieked and tore until he tore his tail loose. And then he took to his feet, so he ran away with all his might, and he met seven other wolves. They said, Why are you tailless, grey wolf? Oh, the tailor tore it out. Where is the tailor? You see him there on the road. All right, we will hunt after him. And they started after the tailor. The tailor heard the chase coming after him and saw it was disagreeable business. He scaled up a tree as fast as he could. So the wolves arrived there and said, We will stop here, brothers. Wait until the tailor comes down. Do you, Manx wolf, stop below, and each of us will climb on the other's shoulders. So the Manx wolf lay at the bottom. All the seven wolves went after the others and climbed up. When the tailor saw his ill fate coming so near him, for they were nearer and nearer, He cried out to the top one, It is nobody's fault, only the Manx wolf's. So the Manx wolf was frightened and jumped out from below and ran off. All the seven wolves tumbled down and chased after him, caught him and tore him to bits. But the tailor slid down the tree and went back home. And that is the tale of the wolf and the tailor from Russia. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, we recommend taking a look at our Patreon page, as noted in the description below. You can earn great rewards while also supporting us, to keep these stories alive for generations to come. Also, remember to subscribe to us on your podcast app, and leave us a 5-star rating if you enjoyed this story. A special thank you to Cat for their support this month. Without your contribution, we wouldn't be able to continue these stories, 
and we truly appreciate it. Visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current events, news, and much more. Not only that, but you can also visit our story archive of every tale we have ever told. It's sorted by origin and region for the convenience of your listening pleasure. Thank you for listening to our story. 